ancient Egypt long, long time ago was one of the greatest and most powerful civilization. This civilization lasted from 3150 BC to 30 BC. Ancient Egypt created a lot of interesting things such as the pyramids, papyrus sheets, the sacco, shaduf, the calendar, wigs, and cosmetic makeup. We use many resources from ancient Egypt today. The peak of building pyramids began with the late 3rd dynasty and continued until the roughly 6th. More than 4,000 years later, the Egyptian pyramids still retain much of their majesty, providing a glimpse into the country's rich. Most people believe that slaves only built the pyramids, but that's not true. Off-season farmers and slaves built the pyramids to make a living. The materials that were used to build pyramids were great basalt, gypsum, and baked mud bricks. At the spiritual level, the pyramid is a symbol for the integration of self and stone. The ancient Egyptians saw the shape of the pyramids as a method of providing new life to the dead because the pyramid represented the form of physical body emerging from the earth and ascending toward the light of the sun. The purpose of a pyramid was that when a king or queen died, they would be mummified and buried in tombs in the pyramid with their most prized possessions. The kings and queens would be buried with their most prized possessions, which was jewelry, because they would travel to the afterlife style. In ancient Egypt, they believed that there was an afterlife. In order for people to reach the afterlife, they were to be mummified. Rich people would get a nice um, burial inside of a th tomb. Well, poor people would have to be buried inside of the sand. Mummy facts. The pharaoh's brain w brains were removed from their nose. The organs were put in a unique jar to protect them. The mummy wore a mask and, pro and was protected by curses. Step one of mummification, announcement of the death. A messenger was told to inform the death of the mummy. Step two, embalming the body. Step three, removal of the brain. Step four, internal organs removed. Step five, drying the body out. Step six, wrap the body in linen. Step seven, final procession, deliver lungs, stomachs, and intestines were washed and packed in natron, which will dry them out. The heart is not taken out of the body because it is the century of intelligence and feeling, and the man will need it in the afterlife. A long hook is used to smash the brain and pull it out through the nose. In ancient Egypt, when a king a.k.a. Pharaoh, died, it was thought that he slash she would be sent to the, sent in to the afterlife. Intut's penis was mummified at a 90 degree angle to protect him in combat in the afterlife as erect. The process of mummifying the dead began in ancient Egypt, C 300,000 BC. The word mummy comes from the Latin word Mum, mummia, which is derived from the Persian mum, 
Mummies, no brainer. It was once thought that Egyptians used a hook to take away the brain through the nose while embalming the body. However, it seems the brain was never taken away and it stayed intact. Egyptian embalmers were so skilled that the people mummified 4,000 years ago still move, still have skin, hair, and recognizable features such as scars and tattoos. The earliest sarcophaguses were made in the 3rd dynasty. The Egyptians mummified the bodies and wrapped the bodies in linen. The sarcophaguses was, were made out of limestone. The ancient pharaohs got buried in a coffin also known as sarcophagus in ancient Egyptian times. The sarcophagus acted like an outer show. The ancient Egyptian sarcophagus was, is synonymous with the artifacts found in Egypt. The purpose of the sarcophagus is that it is the protection of the body, saving it from deterioration and mutilation. The items that were placed in the sarcophagus were four canopic jars containing the organs of the deceased, magic Egyptian amulets, and the mummy's wrappings, a copy of the ancient book of the dead, household goods, including furniture for use in the afterlife, and food to feed the deceased. The ancient Egyptians also used makeup. Makeup was very important in ancient Egypt. The makeup would help if the sand was about to be caught in the eyes, it would instead be caught in the makeup. Wigs were part of daily life in ancient Egypt. Men and women shaved their heads so they were wigs. People in ancient Egypt wore beard wigs made out of wood and or human hair. In ancient Egypt, both men and women used makeup. Ancient Egyptians believed that makeup gave them pr protection of the gods Horus and Ra. Ancient Egyptian wigs were made of pieces of animal hair, wool, palm fiber that are made of flax. The expensive wigs were made from human hair and was used for royalty. Some of the materials used for makeup is malachite and coal. Ancient Egyptians used black eye cover to block the sand from coming to their eyes. In ancient Egypt, children did not wear wigs. Girls wore the hair braided or wore pigtails. They wore beard wigs in ancient Egypt because it's a symbol of pyramid power. It's worn to show that they are living on God's earth. In 4000 BC, these Egyptians used material in a specific order for their makeup. Men and women wore a large amount of makeup every day. Around 2000 BC, the Egyptians improved the oxygen plow, by, oxygen plow by hooking it to a team of oxen. The new oxygen plow made use of the power of oxen to pull the plow and therefore was a much quicker and easier method to loosen the soil. The oxygen plow has changed over the years of its existence. Its item has helped the Egyptians with daily things and helped the society their society. The plow helped early farmers to be able to till more land faster than before, allowing them to produce more crops in a shorter amount, shorter amount of time. The Egyptians were one of the first people to introduce the oxygen plow. The oxygen plow helped farmers a lot and the people back then were very lucky to have this awesome item in their lifetime. The Egyptians had a different plow before. Before, Egyptians had a plow that would need a person physically pushing the plow. Egyptians then found a better and easier way of plowing by using oxen. Egyptians then passed it down from generation to generation. I know this because in an article it stated that this made the work of farming easier and it required almost no strength and just patience. Ancient Egyptians found that the human-drawn plow would take many days to finish a planting session. When Egyptians first introduced the ox-powered plow, it was a game changer.
Golden Idol. 